Okay, here we are. We're going to uh, cut a file now um, based on the uh, end route training that we have just done. Now, first thing to do um, when you place your sheet is that we need to put the material uh, at our origin point. So we're just going to move the gantry out of the way and just pull the sheet so that it sits nicely in the corner and that it's square against the origin point. Okay. Just move the gantry back. And we'll just move over here. Okay, we're now just going to call up our job through the keypad. Now, to access the files that are stored on the CNC router, we hit the file key here, and that will pull up all of the different folders. Now, our folder that we're going to be searching for is training. So it's not in that area through there, so we'll page down. Uh, it's not in that list here, so we'll page down again. And there we go, there's our folder, it's training. So once we've got our folder, we go OK. And there's our file queued up there. So I'm going to go OK, and that will load up that file and then it will give us several options. Now it's a good idea to preview your file uh, before you cut it, A, to make sure you've got the right one, but it will also preview it in the sequence that it's going to cut and you'll be able to see if there's any problems because it'll trip up in this phase if there's any issue. So here we can see all of the, the routing offsets and then it's going to do the outside shape. So everything looks good at this stage. So really all we have to do now is press green for go, which is down here. Now when we do this, what will happen is that it will pick up the tool from the tool changer and it will set up the, it'll start the dust extractor and the vacuum.
spindle will stop, then we can actually move the machine out of the way. done, we can just press the green button again and it will return to exactly the same point that it left off. Okay, the job is finished and uh, what we want to do is just move the gantry out of the way so that we can uh, get access to the job so we can um, separate it from the waste sheet and um, uh, take the job off the table. Now each of these arrows on the number keys um, relates to how the gantry moves, so 6 will obviously move it right, 4 moves the gantry left. 2 and 8 will move uh, the spindle up and down the gantry. So what we're going to do is that we're just going to move the gantry off uh, to the right to get it out of the way. And now we can get access to our job. So what we're going to do now is we're going to use a hammer and chisel just to break um, the bridges uh, while it's on the bed. We're not going to damage the uh, CNC table because we've got the sacrificial sheet underneath it and we're going to take the, um, the tube to the dust extract, uh, separate it from the pickup so that it's out of the way. Okay, you can see we've separated off the, um, the uh, elements from the waste sheet and you can see there's a little bit of hairiness particularly um, where it's done the island fill and you can see here as well there's a bit of hairiness um, where the cut is. Now that's fairly normal, this is a fairly low grade plywood and most jobs do need to have a little bit of work on the sander uh, before you can finally assemble them. Um, and that includes taking off things like the, the bridges and so on. So there'll be uh, other processes that you'll have to pick up. Um, the, uh, although it's uh, a time-saving uh, device, it uh, doesn't eliminate uh, all levels of handwork. Okay, we've taken the job off the uh, CNC table and uh, 
the rest of the material is also off. Um, after every uh, job run, uh, you do need to uh, clean the table off just to uh, keep the dust down and also to make sure that there's no dust on the sacrificial sheet because that will uh, affect the amount of vacuum that you get. Now, we can use the um, onboard dust extractor to take the dust away. It's better than uh, blowing it off with the air. Now, to do that, on the keypad, we can hit this auto key and then hit the dusty key and then go on and now the dust extractor has come on and we can just take it off the pickup and take all the dust off the, uh, off the bed that's been generated by the job. Now, you don't often have to go into the function keys on the keyboard because most of the uh, job control is done through the toolpath software. But at the end of a job, uh, the default is that the tool is still sitting in the spindle and it is good practice to remove the tool um, and return it to the automatic tool changer. Now to do that you need to access the function menu and um, how we do that is that there's this F key here we press function F and we write down the function number. Now the function numbers uh, are listed um, on the machine but there's really only two or three that you uh, will ever use now the function to return the tool to the automatic tool changer is function number 34. So we just type 3, 4, go OK. And what will happen is that the tool will automatically return to the tool changer.